It's personal between me you, and I'm going to do you some serious harm, you big stiff idiot. Okay. The Untouchable True School Sports Empire proudly presents something the boxing game's been missing. Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. Now, Jake Paul, Hasim Rahman, the fiasco that is that, you know, I haven't had a chance to, talk, to, to make a video about that. You know, I did drop a video about my boy, uh, Light Heavyweight Boy Contender, I met LB Ali talking about that and his experience barring Jake Paul and how the WBC trying to I tried to rank Jake Paul, so bear with me. This may be a longer, more drawn out video, but let's just let, let, let's just start with let's just start off with this. What a shit show! I mean, what an absolute shit show from Jake Paul, Hasib Rahman, and all parties involved in this scenario. Now, uh, I think my I think you know there, there, there's a reason why I keep smart people around me. You know, only the best boxing minds around me. That's the only reason why I, I only work with the creme de la creme in boxing, like my boy Sean Porter. You know, Sean Porter called this perfectly, like, two weeks ago, two weeks and some change ago, with Marcos Villegas in an interview with Fight Hub. He's pretty, he said, yeah, uh, they, they, they already know Rockman can only scale down but a certain weight. Um, Rockman won't make the weight. They'll blame it on him. They'll pull out the fight. And that's it. Like he called it the the way he called it. That's exactly how it happened. Because, okay, let's ask a couple of questions here. Number one, Hasim Rahman didn't even get a chance to weigh in. So if 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 the fight was gonna get canceled or scrapped, why didn't they just allow him to do a weigh in first? You know, that's number one. Number two, um, it's it, it happens at times, but more 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 times than not, if a fighter really is willing to make a fi willing to make a fight happen. You know, uh, yeah, a fighter can miss weight, but they just pay the penalties and the fight happens. It, it normally always goes down like that. But, uh, you know, Jake Paul, in my opinion, I don't think Jake Paul really wanted to fight Hasim Rahman. And I and, and Jake Paul is really smart. He knows enough about the boxing business and, and boxing in general and social media um, to manipulate people. And, you know, it's like we live in a, in a, in a world today where perception is reality. So... It, it's very easy to spin spin the fact that Hasim Rahman was ducking Jake Paul, but the reality is this: Jake Paul, Jake Paul only fought Hasim Rahman for two reasons. Number one, he fought him because he got knocked out his last fight against Kenzie Morris, and that's number one. Number two, the other reason Jake Paul fought Hasim Rahman is because he he um he called him when they didn't have the fight signed, and he was just calling him about his weight and information and things like that before. It, they even wanted to fight each other, and and then when he found out things were not too uh, going well for Rockman weight wise, then he wanted to fight Rockman. So it's like Jake Paul. I think you can blame both fighters. Like I'm not, I'm not, I'm not giving Rockman a pass either. My thing is this: if Hasim Rockman couldn't make the weight, if he knew he couldn't make the weight, then he shouldn't have signed that contract. That that's my opinion because. Whether it's bullshit or not, if you sign a legally binding contract and can't meet the terms of the contract. Then that, my friend, is on you. Okay, what you should have did was your team should have negotiated to a weight that would have been more suitable for you and um, you know your party involved in the fight. But you didn't do that. So don't get me wrong. I'm not. I'm not blaming Rockman. I'm not gonna let Rockman off the hook. He's 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 got his part, part to play in this as well. But also, you know, Jake Paul. Let's be real. He he knew Rockman couldn't make that weight. Um, he knew Tommy Fury couldn't get to the USA. So, what now? What happens now for Jake Paul? Because Jake Paul, what does he do now? You know, uh, truthfully, look, I I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest with you. I don't give a fuck what he does personally. Because the reality is like, you know, there was, there was a point where I liked Jake Paul. Because I, I thought, I, you know, he, he does say some things about boxing that I do agree with sometimes. And I think he does expose a lot of things wrong with the boxing business. So should we really hate Jake Paul? Should we hate the player or should we hate the game? Because he's just only, he's, he's only just operating it within the framework of, 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 the, of, the, of the wild, wild west business model that the boxing business has always had. You know what I'm saying? Maybe if boxing had better business practices and the sport had a little bit more integrity, shit like this wouldn't happen. But doesn't so it's gonna continue to happen now the main thing i have issue with right fuck rockman fuck jake paul the the issue i have with it and this goes out to you mauricio suleiman mauricio suleiman my issue is with you 
because you've been around long enough to know about boxing. I mean, Mauricio Suleiman is many things in this world, but he is not stupid, okay? He knows about boxing. He's been around in this sport since his dad, way back in the day. So we're never going to sit here and call him a stupid man. He was prepared to make the winner of this fight, and he was probably, he was probably going to hope it was Jake Paul, a ranked fighter in the WBC rankings. Okay, so you have a guy who has not really fought any boxers ever versus a guy who just got knocked the fuck out his last fight, fighting each other, and you want the winner of that fight to be ranked. He saw a business opportunity, and he tried to capitalize on it, and um, he's a disgraceful. He, he's disgraceful for that. I, I'm not trying to like put him down because at the end of the day, everybody is, is a human being. We all have feelings. We all have, um, we all have to... We all, we, all, we all have a life to live, so I'm not trying to sit here and talk down about people because it's not really what I want to do. But, I mean, it is disgraceful behavior from Mauricio Suleiman to even try this bullshit. It really is. And not only is it disgraceful, it's disrespectful to not just the current fighters who are climbing the rankings, working hard, trying to make something happen for their careers, you know, uh, 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 spending all this money on training expenses and all this stuff, putting their life into this. And they can't even get ranked in the top 30, okay? No matter, you know, there, there, there are so many fighters in boxing who can fight their ass off, who, if given the opportunity with the right management, with, with, with better structure in the sport of boxing, if they could get, if they could get certain fights, they would, they would be ranked and they would be at a certain level. But some guys just don't have the luck of the draw. And you want to give a guy who's never even fought a real boxer a ranking position for fighting a guy, for, 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 for potentially beating a guy who is not... First of all, I see Mark my all respect to him, not the most accomplished fighter in the world. But he's coming off of a knockout loss. So it's just, it, it really is the most disgraceful thing I've witnessed in a long time, this whole Jake Paul thing. And I really think that if boxing had any sense, and when I say boxing, I don't mean the sport because I love the sport. I love the fighters. I love the sport. I love everything that boxing is inside the ring, okay? I'm talking about boxing the business, boxing the administration, boxing outside the ring. Boxing outside the ring, the administrative part, the business of boxing, have allowed Jake Paul to do this shit. And they've allowed this culture to exist because they don't have any standards or any framework for anything. There's no oversight for anything. So that's what happens. So, you know, personally, I, I, I kind of was looking forward to Jake Paul versus Hasim Rahman. But when the fight first got signed, there was part of me that was like, he's not going to really fight Hasim Rahman. Why would he do that? Why would Jake Paul do that? Because the thing is, look, I, I don't really tell you guys everything that I know about everything. Like, I, I have friends. I have eyes everywhere in boxing. I, don't, I, I could be right here in this room, and I can know about things going on in Vegas. I can, know, I can know about things going on in New York, here in South Florida, here in California. I've got a lot of sources in a lot of different places. So I always, people, people, I'll be, I'll be sitting here playing, you know, PlayStation 2. I, I, I got a PlayStation 2 recently. I'll be playing video games in my room, playing PlayStation 2. And sometimes I get a phone call. Sometimes I'll be sitting on my couch. I get a phone call. Hey, such and such happened in the gym today, you know. So, so I've heard things about Jake Paul. You know, I've heard a lot of things about Jake Paul. And uh, from what I've heard, I just never thought the fight with Rock Mons would happen. Just based on the culture and how he, you know, how he is in the gym. But respect to him. So that's that's my opinion. You know, fuck the WBC. They're ridiculous trying to get Jake Paul ranked, and it is the most disgraceful thing I've seen in boxing in a long, long time. Mauricio Suleiman. I, I, I really don't want to say what's on my. I, I really don't want to say what's disrespectful in my mind right now. But but all I can say is you really need to take a hard, hard, long look in the mirror and ask yourself: Are you really honoring your father's legacy with bullshit like this? So I'm gonna leave it at that. You guys can um. Uh, let me know your comments down below. Make sure you guys take the time to subscribe. And like I say in every single one of these videos, you can love me or you can hate me. But I'm just kidding from Daniel. So until next time, take care, guys. Thank you for watching another video on True School Sports, the home of boxing. If you made it this far, do me a favor and do yourself a damn favor. Hit that subscribe button and surely you will not be disappointed. You know, True School Sports bringing you the latest and greatest, the untouchable, you know, boxing content interviews news videos breakdowns live fight reaction extravaganza we've got a great community of, of people here boxing fans all over the world from america to the uk to australia and on and on and on so join the empire today hit that subscribe button take care and guys